Good morning, good morning. Are you guys having a great day? And uh, today, I really want to talk about what can actually happen in relationships with others if you are not aware of this specific thing. Often, uh, we can be exhausted, we can be tired, we can feel depleted. And if you've ever had the thought, oh my gosh, this person drains me or I'm, I'm exhausted by them, then this will help you to really understand what's going on and uh, what also to be able to do about it. One of the biggest things is not understanding your own specific energy requirements. And by that, I mean, if you don't understand uh, what needs that you actually have uh, in your own energy system and how your own energy system works. And often this is really true, certainly for sensitive people or for people that um, really, you know, have a deep level of empathy or tend to feel what other people are feeling. Good morning. Say hello if you're jumping on here. Um, <clears throat> so it can be one of those things where if you're not um, like I said, aware of these particular differences and, you know, just a basic difference might be somebody that's introverted and in relationship with somebody that's actually extroverted. And often what can actually happen is when we're not clear on what's going on in our energy system or our own energy needs, we often can feel that A, either we're disappointing somebody or letting somebody down because they're like filling up their energy. So somebody that's extroverted, they get their energy replenished by spending time with people or being out in the world. Introverts get their energy replenished from being internal, from spending time by themselves. And even that on a basic level, good morning, Helen, great to have you on here, darling. Even that on a basic level, when that is not understood, and if your partner is more extroverted, so they fill up on energy externally, and you fill up on energy by yourself, then you can see how this starts to become some challenges. And if you're both not consciously aware of this, often there can be judgments. So then we can start thinking that the extroverted person might be needy or might be clingy or, oh my gosh, can they just, you know, go and distract themselves or go and, you know, go do something. And we start to develop these um, judgments, which never actually really, you know, help the relationship in any particular way or the extroverted partner might be like well they don't really care about me they don't really want to spend time with me they don't love me and we can start to make these assumptions remembering that our greatest freedom as human beings is the meaning we make around events so an event occurs but the only time when we suffer or when things are difficult for us is because of the meaning that we've attached to that particular event. We do this often very, very unconsciously. Um, often, you know, the subconscious, uh, or not often, the subconscious is actually reacting five seconds faster than what you can consciously think. So if you're feeling a particular way or you're particularly triggered by something that somebody said, I can promise you that we haven't attached an unconscious meaning that has now meant that we're not enough or that we've let somebody down or that we've disappointed somebody. And often that can result in feelings of guilt and shame or feeling that we're, um, you know, not being the person that our partner wants us to be. And then that can result in either resentment and anger towards the partner, which is never going to serve the relationship, right? Or making ourselves feel bad and feeling scared that if we don't comply, now we're going to, um, you know, lose their love or we're going to, um, you know, disappoint them or not, um, you know, please them in some way, shape or form. And, you know, we're really hardwired for this stuff, guys. We are hardwired for connection, um, but we are also hardwired to fit in and belong and in some respects kind of conform because that is our tribal circuitry kind of playing out within our body. But it is essential to our well-being as a child um, because if we don't fit in, if we're kicked out of the tribe, it literally means death in our unconscious mind or subconscious mind um, as a child because our our needs can't be met. We can't be taken care of. We lose security. We lose all of those different things as a child. And so overcoming this and being able to really understand who you are as a person, what your energy does as a person is really, really important. And being able to clearly articulate your own needs because otherwise 
sometimes these miscommunications can happen. And from a human design perspective, um, if you've not dived into the world of human design, hey, Jeanette, uh, oh, Janet, sorry, it's great to have you on here, darling. Um, if you have not dived into the world of human design, um, it really helps you to understand what are your own energy needs as well. Some profiles need to feel powerful, free and capable. Other profiles need to feel recognized, valued and understood. And so again, you can see that sometimes like conflicts may appear if one person is needing to feel powerful, free and capable and go do their thing from their creative urge or whatever they're feeling compelled or that they feel like aligned with to go out and do. And um, whereas, you know, the other partner might be feeling like, oh, they've just gone, they've just gone and left me. So now I don't feel recognized. I don't feel valued. So again, all of these things can play out in different ways. Again, we're attaching meaning to everything. And often we're coming from the meaning that we've made from the old narrative, the old story of what we've believed in the past of who we are. And often that can play into that feeling of feeling not enough, not valued, not worthy. Um, you know, life is unfair, like all of those things that can play out um, and really have us start to um, spin a lot in negativity and again in our own fear of not being loved and in that case often what we're doing is putting on an inauthentic mask pretending to be something other than what we are um, Absolutely. It's so incredible, isn't it, Helen? <laughs> um, you know, and, and pretending to be someone or something other than what we are, in which case, again, we're going to feel an underlying key of resentment that we can't fully be ourselves, or we can't loved, be loved for being ourselves, or, um, you know, it's just exhausting. It is so exhausting to continue to place this mask or facade up and pretend to be, you know, even a different emotion, um, you know, oh my gosh, you know, I just have to be the strong one or I have to be the one with the happy face all the time. That is depleting guys. And, uh, you know, until you actually get real and honest with yourself, um, you, you'll con continue to attract inauthentic relationships as well, uh, which can be really, really challenging. And it really depletes our energy system. It keeps us exhausted when we're not able to communicate our needs effectively. And often that comes from a deep level of emotional intelligence, um, no longer being reactive or triggered by that which shows up in others or taking personal responsibility for how others are feeling. And that's not to say that we, um, you know, are complacent with the way that we, the impact that we may have on somebody, but it's also not taking personal responsibility, knowing that each person is filtering all of their situations, their meaning making machines as well. <laughs> so they're going to determine that based upon what their past is, if they've not become Become truly conscious and aware and started to develop um, themselves or develop self-awareness as to hey what's actually really going on here so um, all of those things are really really important if you notice that uh, a your energy system is depleted uh, perhaps you're feeling extra sensitive extra teary you're feeling like you have to motivate yourself you're feeling you have to push yourself you're feeling like you want to withdraw socially and not be around anybody then they are all very very strong signs of burnout please read out to me. It is absolutely critical and essential that you get assistance with this simply because the, the cycle perpetuates and it is a downward spiral and it can leave us feeling very, very depleted, absolutely exhausted, drained, completely wiped out where, you know, it can feel even very, very difficult to show up for work. Uh, we um, build greater negativity and uh, it, often it can really, really impact self-esteem, self-worth, self-love. There can be a lot of critical negative thoughts that are attached when we are burning out or when we feel burnt out as well as not showing up as maybe the parent or the partner that you truly want to be and being able to be the person that you truly love being as well and uh, all of that impacts your personal happiness it's absolutely imperative to get assistance so please reach out it's absolutely so important um, in order for you to be able to move forward to create a life that you love to be high vibing to be feeling amazing and really really loving and enjoying your life and really leaning into hey Fiona great to have you on here really leaning into the feeling that anything is possible for you uh, that is one of the greatest freedoms that we have as human beings and you really honestly are a powerful creator but sometimes 
sometimes when we get stuck with these, um, you know, situations and we're not understanding what's going on at a deeper level, that is what plays out and we can end up feeling like victims um, of our situation or feeling powerless to change the, our situation and that continues to a drive adrenal fatigue, exhaustion and later on all sorts of other illnesses that start to show up because the body is so acidic and living in a state of inflammation from not only your own exhaustion, your own negativity, but also being bathed in loads of cortisol every day, um, as well as you know a lot of other stress hormones that play out in the body. It interrupts digestion, a whole bunch of things. So if that is you, please reach out, send me a message, let's have a chat and uh, see if and how I might be able to help you get back on track fall in love with you again and reclaim your health, energy and vitality and sustainability in the world with your energy system. Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.